Okay. So, we have here the laboratory activity regarding your clat retraction. So, the clat retraction is actually the function of our platelets. Just measure the ability of our platelets to, or our resins here to clat and to retract. That would be highly dependent on the level of your fibrinogen and the level of your platelets. So, basically, the level of the fibrinogen and platelet here would have an inverse relationship with the clot retraction. Like if you have decreased na platelet count or decreased fibrinogen concentration, okay, that would be uh, automatically, that would in hinder our blood here to, uh, to clot and eventually could not retract and therefore increasing the result of your clot retraction. Okay, so we have here the method for the clot retraction. So, we have here your McFarlane method. Procedure for this one. So, just have your test tube. You try to put here your spiral spring. So, spring na galing sa notebook natin. So, make sure here na tightly coiled ito. And try to put here on your test tube. Then, after that one, you try to collect the blood approximately 5 ml the blood. And try to put here. And try to observe here until the blood here try to clot. So, as soon as the, your blood here has been clotted already, so try to incubate that one at 37 degrees Celsius here in the water pan for one hour. Then, after one hour, you try to leave. So, tangkilin mo ito. So, dapat may medyo may nakausli dito na part. Okay. You try to leave here your spiral spring. Okay. Along with the clot. So, since we are expecting that after that incubation of one hour, nag-clot na ito, so therefore, ang clot mo ay mag-attach sa spring. Pag nilift mo ito, it would go along with your clot. At ang maiwan dito sa baba is only your serum. And therefore, what you're going to do here is just measure the volume of the serum. Okay, and then try to compute for the percentage of your clot retraction. So, the percentage of the clot retraction here is measured as a volume of your serum over the volume, total volume the blood used since we are using 5 ml. So, the over 5 times 100. Okay, that would be your percentage clot retraction time. Okay, then we have here the following. Okay, so what you're going to take note for this one would be the quality of the clot. So, you should have here the solid or soft na clot. Dapat solid ang clot natin. Okay? So, pag solid ang clot, means to say that, ha, that uh, the patient would have here a good clot retraction. On the other hand, we also take note here the number of the RBC fallout. So, RBC fallout here, ito yung mga RBC na pag tinanggal mo ang spring, ang naiwan ng mga RBC dito natin, that's your RBC fallout. So, correlation yan, Pag solid ang clot natin, pag solid ang clot, walang masyadong RBC fallout. Minto say mayroon siya ang good na quality na clot retraction time. Pero pag soft ang clot natin, pag hinila natin, ang mangyayari ay madaming maiiwan na RBC. And that's, so that's correlated here with the poor quality of the clot retraction. Okay, so... Abnormality in your clot retraction is related to the disorder Glanzmann's thrombostania, and that because of the defective uh, receptor na glycoprotein 2B3A. So, basta pag may abnormality in the clot retraction, so most likely we are considering the Glanzmann's thrombostania na problem. Okay, another method here for the clot retraction, we have your Herzbeck method with the use of the castor oil. So, procedure for that, we have here your container, so you can have your test strip or even your beaker. Then you add here your castor oil, try to fill that one, three-fourth volume. And then you try to perform here the skin puncture. Okay, and then lalagay natin sa sali hemoglobin pipette. Aspirate mo ang blood from the skin of the patient. Okay, then with your pipette, ilulower mo lang siya dito until mag-drop siya ng blood. Okay, until na mag-touch niya ang surface ng adding castor oil and try to observe or try to time kung kailan siya magkakaroon ng nipple-like projection or protrusion. 
Okay, that become here your GLAD retraction time. Okay, so thank you.